All right, so today this is kind of a show and tell. I often do motorcycles on this channel, but it also is equally about skill building and making your own stuff, the empowerment of making your own stuff. And so one of the things I made is this guy. I'm about to make some friends for this guy, but this goes on, this is a welding table square, or there are other names probably, but I designed this on the computer on Autodesk Inventor, and then I have printed it out on a plasma cutter, a CNC plasma cutter table, and then I now welded it together, and it's awesome! And now I can do, this will allow me to do multiple things on my weld table, It'll make my weld table more functional in terms of fixturing components and things. All right, right now I have this front end. You can see the shock here. I have this front end that I'm making for my scooter project. I'm gonna need to fixture that thing up on this table in a weird, awkward way. And so this guy should be handy for that. And I've got another one and a couple other ones that I'm going to use that should also help me out with doing that project. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some other stuff together. This is how, this is another piece. This is a, a smaller version of this. This comes straight out of the plasma cutter looking like this. It's got some slag and stuff on it. And so I go, need to go ahead and clean up the edges on this guy with like the flat disc. And this gets married to this guy here. And then on the end, I've got another piece, this guy here. These all fit together to make one part or one assembly. All right, so I've got the, all these cleaned up now. I'm gonna go ahead and start tacking them together and weld them up. So that ultimately I can do stuff like this, where I get this thing fixtured up, I've clamped it on this one end over here, nice and vertically, and then over here, this is what I think is really neat, is that we've got this part here that supports this weird arch, wherever, right? And I can slide this up and down as I need to fit that thing, and I can also tilt it at an angle to meet up with this tube, and we clamp that down and we hold it right where we want it, whatever that may be, to do our welding. So I'm super stoked, of course, about this because I feel like this takes us to another level, another fabrication level. I'm not sure what that level is called, but I can feel it. We're just on the precipice of it. I'm gonna use this, not exactly in this form, but pretty close to do my steering stem because this has to be at a very specific angle in relation to this thing. This is my front end. This gets welded onto, these two things get welded together, the front end and the steering stem, but I need this steering stem to be at a specific angle in relation to the front end and the front wheel and everything in order to get the correct rake so that the scooter will ride in a safe manner. So those are my cool tools that I'm working on. I just wanted to show you what, what's happening here and, and relate that, you know, being able to do this stuff on the computer is pretty freaking awesome and I really want my own plasma table. There are ways to send this out. There, I've not used any of these, uh, these services but there's places like Send Cut Send um, and there's some other place I see advertised called like Oshcut or something like that. Um, I think it's in the same vein where you can send them in your, your designs. You design it up on the computer, send it to them and then they'll cut it out and send it back to you and it's pretty cool. I don't know what the pricing is on it though. I've been told by people who have used it that it's reasonable, but it's all kind of relative to your budget. One of the other things I wanted to show you, and I'm waiting to do the scooter prod to finish out this front end until I get this thing put together, is I've got a bigger one. But I've still got a couple pieces I need to cut out for it, but it's pretty awesome. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need a taller one to do this setup here. And that's what we got this guy for. And I still need to make the sides for it. But it's in the same vein as that this guy here, this one. And you'll see this, a finished version of this, when I do, I'll put out a video for the front end, finishing that up, and this should be in that video. Now you can also buy these. There are several companies that make these weld tables like this, and they also make little accessories, like these little clamps that I'm featuring today in this video. But they are expensive in my opinion, and the only reason I 
I'm not buying them is, and there's a couple reasons I'm not buying them because I'm a, I can't afford all that sort of stuff. And uh, I happen to have the great opportunity of having a weld table, a, a plasma table available to me because I'm going to welding school at the moment and I'm taking advantage of that. I don't know if it's cheaper to design your own and have it cut out by someone with a table or if it is cheaper to acquire or just purchase one that's already made. So that's it, that's what's going on around here. It's pretty cool um, for me. <laughs> I hope it's inspiring for you. So thanks for watching, talk to you later. Thank you.